What's up, Internet? Carlos here from MashDacKey.com, and today I wanted to bring you a quick video to demonstrate Los Buntu's ability to do image acquisition. Um, if you don't know what Los Buntu is, Los Buntu is a Linux live distribution that you can use to help you in accomplishing computer forensic tasks like image acquisition. It is 100% free. You can get it at LosBuntu.com. There you'll find an, an ISO that you can download and create a bootable uh, USB thumb drive from it, which is exactly what I've done here. Downloaded the ISO, created my bootable thumb drive. I've removed the hard drives from my laptop and I booted it using Los Buntu so that I could uh, demonstrate Los Buntu's image acquisition capabilities. And um, you can use Los Buntu to do image acquisition if you don't have a hard uh, hardware write blocker handy or if you simply just like having a trusted a trusted Linux distribution that you could use for acquisition it'll save you in a pinch and I'll demonstrate that you can do the acquisition of your evidence media without altering the data contained inside of it right now I only have one physical disk connected to my Los Buntu machine which is the USB thumb drive that we use to that I use to mount to boot my laptop you can profile the amount of physical disks connected to your machine using the fdisk-l command. sudo just simply gives that command super user privileges. It requires a password which is mtk. And you can see that we only have one physical disk. In order for you to follow along, you're going to need two more drives. One that we're going to use to simulate being your evidence drive and then one that we're going to use to send the that, the one that we're going to use to the second one we're going to use to simulate being the acquisition media so we have one that we're going to use as our evidence media and then we're going to have one that we're going to use to send the uh, acquisition of that evidence to it okay i have uh, two devices here i'm going to connect the first one which is going to simulate being my evidence media and you can see the Lowe's Buntu will recognize it right away but it will not do anything to it it will not mount it and it will also not write block them so you have to be very careful if you were to mount that media then you will begin altering the data contained on that evidence drive and that's not a good thing to verify that we have not that we're not going to change any of the data contained in that media let's let's first profile and the physical disk installed and see what Los Buntu assigned it. So we run the same command that we did before and we can see that we do in fact have a second physical device connected to Los Buntu which is the dev SDB. It's a very small 64 megabyte thumb drive that we're going to use to uh, simulate evidence acquisition. Uh, just to uh, demonstrate that there are no mounted media connected right now we see that only dev SDA is mounted and it's mounted under the CD-ROM directory. That's Los Buntu acting as a, as a live distribution. So now we need to run a hash on that physical media so that we can have a hash conducted before the acquisition and then that hash we will use to compare to the acquisition hash to make sure that we haven't changed any data and in essence validate that Los Buntu can be used for image acquisition. We're going to use the MD5 hashing algorithm and we run a command MD5 sum on the physical device dev sdb and that command needs root privileges so we type in sudo before it and we hit enter. This is a very small 64 megabyte thumb drive so uh, hashing will go quick. If you do this on your uh, on, on a physical media uh, that contains 250 gigabytes or more. It's going to take longer than a couple seconds. It'll take uh, it'll take some time, depending on the read speeds of your uh, USB of your USB. Okay, so now we are ready to do this image acquisition. I'm going to introduce a second physical disk, actually a third physical disk to Los Buntu, which is going to be uh, the media that we're going to use to send our data to. Okay. If we want to profile how many physical devices we have connected to Lowe's Buntu, we run fdisk-l and we can see that we have SDA, SDB, which is going to be our evidence, and SDC, which is going to be uh, where are we going to send the, da the data to. We clear the screen, run the f-h, and we see that SDC is still not mounted. To mount it, all you have to do is simply click on it. There's my storage media, we click on it, and it's been mounted. The f-h 
will validate that it's been mounted on their media MTK storage. Okay, uh, so we are ready to do the acquisition. To do the acquisition, we're going to use a command called Gaimager. It's a, it's a tool that, it's a multi-threaded imaging tool. It's very fast and it has a graphical user interface. So it's very easy to use. To launch Gaimager, go to dash home and run Gaimager. And you can see that it opens up, click on it. It's gonna need root privileges, type in MTK for your password and it's going to profile the physical disks installed currently attached to Lowe's Ubuntu. SDA, SDB, and SDC are the three physical disks attached to Lowe's Ubuntu right now. We're going to be doing an image, uh, we're going to be doing an acquisition of Dev SDB. It's a graphical user tool, very easy to use. Right click on the device you want to acquire and left click on acquire image. Simple as that. A new window pops up with a couple different um, options that we can enter. By default, Gaimager is going to acquire using the expert witness format, the EO1 format, which is today's de facto standard for image acquisition. If you wanted to, you could use a raw DD format, which will end up being the same size as your physical media. But I am going to take advantage of the compression being used by Gaimager so that we can save some space. By default, Gaimager wants to segment or split your images. Uh, I've always used a 1500 megabyte uh, size to split my images. Uh, I've been using that for years and that's that's because uh, three of these segments make up 4.5 gigs and that can be burnt onto a DVD. Nobody's using DVDs anymore. It's an old bad habit that I have, I guess. Uh, but for demonstration purposes, it works just fine. The next thing you're going to do is you can enter uh, arbitrary data here. This is going to be the metadata that gets added to the expert witness format file. Um, you can enter whatever data you want here, including your name as an examiner, the case number of the case you're working, whatever you want to, to enter in here. I'm not going to do, I'm not going to enter any of that data because it's just going to add time to, uh, that we don't need. Whenever you want to, and whenever you try this, you can go ahead and, and, and enter whatever data you want. The most important thing is where you're going to send the image to. We know that our storage container has been mounted, so if we click uh, here and go under Media, MTK, we're going to see that the storage medium, the storage volume, in fact, has been mounted. We select it, and now we can tell Geimager where we want to send the data to. Last thing is you got to give it a file name. No spaces here. We can use any type of name. We'll just Evidence Media. 23 and I if I could spell that'd be great there it is evidence media 23 will be the name of that image that we want the last thing we need to determine is what kind of hash calculations and verifications we're going to use we're just going to stick with the md5 hashing algorithm and we're going to make sure that uh, it hashes md5 and then it also verifies the image once it's com once it's acquired once you have those two boxes checked, you are ready to start acquisition. Press start. Gaimager is very fast at doing acquisition. It'll give you a progress bar. This is a very small thumb drive, so it's going to go over real quick. <coughs> Excuse me. Once it's completed, it'll give you a green light telling you that everything has been acquired and it was verified. And if you get that green light, tells you everything is good to go, then you can be pretty confident that everything went well. Let's go to the storage volume to see what we have. We click on it. We see that we have a prior, a prior EO1 that I acquired, and uh, we'll just delete it because we don't need it. Uh, Evidence Media 23 is the EO1 that we just acquired. Re uh, this is a very good indication that we, it did some really nice compression. And this is a 64 megabyte thumb drive, and it compressed all the way down to only 255K. That's very good. Take a quick peek at the info file, which contains... Uh, information about the acquisition like um, the version and how long it took and smart data as well which is down here but the most important thing is it did an md5 calculation of the data and it that it, it verified the image and as we can see from before that hash matches the hash that we did prior to our to our acquisition so we have successfully 
conducted image acquisition of physical media into a storage device and we have not changed the integrity of that data which is very good so there it is that's all there is to it if you like this video please give it a thumbs up subscribe leave comments and that's it for today thank you very much for watching